Oh, we have wheels. So what I'm monitoring now is that the chain should go to long stay, which means that I'll just show you. Oh, you see, that's where it's gone long stay. Captain, uh, this is second officer proceeding forward now. Okay, no problem, no problem. We still have like 10 minutes. Copy that. Oh, we, we have wheels. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, beautiful. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. What's up guys, welcome back to another day at sea and we just saw those whales for a brief amount of time that's how life is at sea you never see all these majestic uh, beauties it's only a rare occasion and today was a special day we're going at Anchorage for the next port in Lome so it's afternoon right now I have to pass between these two ships there's our men for today it's uh, Rao and Fahim hi guys hi ready for the anchor yeah so these guys are happy guys, they are going home. No, Rao is still with us, huh? Yeah, Fahim is going home. So let's see how the anchor operation goes. Still around uh, 20 minutes to reach our position. Captain, uh, forward. Yes, Captain, we are now started lowering to uh, one meter above water. All right, thank you very much. Captain, uh, starboard side anchor, one meter above water. So, what the captain right now is doing is we are trying to make our bow face the same direction as that red tanker because the wind and the currents are coming from forward. So, it will assist us in the sense like the vessel is here, we drop the anchor, so the wind and current will push us. Anchor will go to the bottom and you know start and hold, hold into the seabed. So it's better that we have the current and wind against us. So guys, that is the first shackle which is going inside the water now. Like this, we have to put eight more. Captain, uh, almost five shackles in water, chain up and down. All right, continue. Continue. So guys, he's tightening the brakes. And once the brake is tight, we will disengage this particular part. Thank you, Fahim. Thank you, Rao. Captain, forward, starboard, anchor bar down, brake on, disengaged, ball is up. 
Very well. So what I'm monitoring now is that the chain should go to long stay, which means that I'll just show you. Oh, you see that's where it's gone long stay. It's gone across over. Okay. That means now the anchor is holding and the vessel will go behind and stop. So we know the anchor is brought up. The chain is coming back. That means the vessel is brought up. I report it to the captain. Yes, captain. The chain is now coming back to medium and medium to short. Then thank you, gentlemen, for a successful anchoring. Thank you so much. Bye. We'll see you next time. Come to the bridge second. Thank you, captain. Coming back. Okay, so that was a successful anchoring of our starboard side anchor in Lome. So it took us around 45 minutes to send eight shackles through the motor. Uh, you can still hear behind me; it's still, uh, uh, you know, picking up and holding the ship. Anyway, the information part was that one shackle's length is 27.5 meters. So into it, okay, I'm not so good at math, so I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, so that amount of uh, that length of cable has been put into the water along with the anchor. So a fun fact is that the anchor does not hold the ship that much. It's the weight of the cable. So eight cables, and you you can calculate the weight. This each shackle must be around at least hundred kilos or more than that. So that's that's how the weight is you know put on the seabed. Okay, I'm going back now because I have to go to the bridge and my watch is still on. So thank you. See you. See you later. I don't believe it. There's a whale just next to us with a baby. here right now is a very magical moment and you can see the mother teaching her baby how to swim i have no words i'm just simply in awe of this this massive creature guys after coming to the bridge i had to read this poster which we have here it's called the commonly found whales on the west coast and i'm pretty sure it was the humpback whale because it had a black or black or dark gray body uh bumps on uh, yeah this this but these particular bumps we could see it i will rewind the video and see and v shape or heart shape blow like this so i'm pretty sure it was this particular whale of course not blue whale blue whale is too big and blue in color fin whale i'm not sure not killer whale could be a gray whale but uh, i think it is the humpback whale with a small baby oh man so this is wonderful we have few more uh, you know posters here so this is for the us coast guard so we have to you know report these sightings for good order and how to help we have these posters so we are trying our best to protect these beautiful creatures so this whale and her baby are going to be the lucky ones getting famous here on youtube because ksn was present at this very particular moment and captured her so uh, don't forget to like the video if you haven't till now yaar yeah. sina what happens is i feel good and it gives the algorithm a push that okay this video has some content and it can you know excel It is the third day at the anchorage today. We've got multiple vessels over here, as you see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and many more. And this is just the starboard side, the port side. We've got many more. So this uh, tells us something. It tells us that there is a lot of waiting right now at the port. 
the port is just over there i'll just show you if you see over the horizon you can see gantry cranes over there that's the port just 5 miles away and tonight is the night when we are supposed to head for the pilot station so let's see it's going to be a night lapse to the arrival so hmm it'll be good so it is 2100 close to 2100 just got a call from the bridge that we are proceeding and have to go to the station, the forward station. We look outside, there are show lights, the pretty yellow lights. And whenever I see this, I get this nostalgic feeling of me being at home. Anyway, uh, let's not waste time, let's go. Captain, uh, forward holding on to 4 and 2 tight. 4 and 2 tight, thank you very much. Thank you, Nidan Bhai. Two more ports, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the port of Lome in Togo. This port is special because we've got all types of terminals including bulk carriers, oil tankers, uh, Roro, everything, all facilities here. And the best part is just behind this camera. So I will give you a quick tour from the bridge wing right now. And then we'll go down on the deck and I'll show you what exactly is happening. Type number one, there's a bulk carrier, Stella Island. Just behind that, there's a oil tanker. So from a wider angle perspective, both the ships, bulk carrier and a tanker on the same jetty. And if we move more starboard, we'll see the ship which is closest to us. This is another bulk carrier and you can see these are the hatch covers and it's also got a crane. Because in West African countries, they don't have crane facilities that much. So you can see it's uh, closing its hatch cover currently. We'll go on the deck and see it more. Uh, up close and personal and the worst part about this port we've got a okay wait we've got a fish fishing fish market fish market just behind our ship so that's the end of our ship that's the last lashing bray and there is the fishing uh, jetty and many 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 fishing boats So let's start from the forward area, that's the anchor and if you see the water coming out, that's the anchor wash is open and where they are doing some cleaning. Then on top we have the winches, if we zoom in, those are the winches. This is the hatch cover. To load and unload cargo, they have these special grabs. So these grabs are put onto this crane and you see there's a hook, that's the hook where it is placed and used for uh, loading and discharging. Then if you see, it has total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cargo holds. So not a very big ship. So let's go to the main deck. You see barbed wires for security, life boys. Then some valves which are marked, these valves. And then we've got the superstructure, the bridge, accommodation, life boat or this looks like a rescue boat which we have. <laughs> it's a small ship. And yeah, that's more or less the ship. Of course, it will be much better if I can go there and, you know, see what's happening. But we cannot go just like that, you know, walk here and then reach the other ship. 
if i have a friend maybe yes but <laughs> it's not so easy to embark another ship anyway so um, you see the distance last night it was so close like this is our bow that's the other ship and that's the end of the jetty it's quite tight guys quite tight all right hope you all like a quick tour of this bulk carrier let's go to the aft station and see what's happening behind so this is how our ship side is looking right now these are small fishing boats going here and there we have to be careful of these you know they can you know come here and embark so have to be vigilant and let's go in the aft station and check out what's happening there i'll show you the fish market which is behind us and a lot of small boats which i don't know maybe fishing boats or very old ships let's see so presently i'm at the stern of the ship right now our cargo has been discharged so it's all empty but let's have a look at what's happening here in the fish market so that's the jetty and once the jetty ends there starts the fish market so those are supposed to be the shops looks empty right now it's a weekend so no fishing and these are like small boats and yeah like patrol boats is if i'm not wrong looks like from the navy boats but uh, if we move move to more starboard see guys over here fishing yeah so it's looking something like this in a more holistic view and there's a beach over there ah i wish we could go out and you know enjoy our time but that's not the case these days in merchant navy oh life is tough on board yeah so one of the last few moves remaining cargo operations almost done time for us to depart to the next port uh, the most dangerous ports in the world so in any case if you did like the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video and i'll see you back from another day at sea hopefully a beach some day to get shore leave but uh not even the hopes too high Alongside somewhere there, and now we are headed straight into the darkness, the dark places at the sea. Anyway, let's not get philosophical.